If you've ever wanted to allow someone to send you a text message through your Twilio phone number and have it show up on your phone, and then use your phone to send them a text message back through your Twilio phone number, this is the video for you. We're going to use a blog post written by Dominic Kundal over on the Twilio blog to enable this using Twilio functions. We'll start over in the Twilio console and head to the Twilio runtime. We'll go into the Twilio functions section and head down to configure. You're going to want to add an environment variable here called my underscore phone underscore number and put your cell phone number here in as the value and hit save down at the bottom. After you're done with that, go to manage and add a new function and start with the hello SMS template and click create. Now that the function's created, we need to give it a name. I'm gonna call mine my SMS forwarder, and then we have to give it a path, and that for me is going to be forward-sms. With the name and path set, we can head down into the code and replace the hello world template. What we're gonna replace it with is a message to our cell phone that contains the sender's phone number and the message body from their text message. So the first parameter here is the to number, and we're gonna grab ours out of the environment variable that we created by calling context.myPhoneNumber. The second parameter here is the body of the text message to send, and as I said, we're gonna use the phone number first, so inside of a template string, we'll grab event.from, that'll be the user's phone number that sent us the text message, and then colon, and then we'll get the event.body parameter, which is the body of the text message that they sent in. So that'll get sent to our phone number. So give the function a save. Once the function is done deploying, we can head over to the phone numbers section and buy a phone number to hook our function up to. So click on phone numbers, and once you're there, click the plus button to buy a new phone number. I'm gonna search for a 215 area code phone number to get a Philadelphia phone number here, since that's where I'm from. I'll click the first Philadelphia number I find here and hit buy. And then I'll click buy this number. And then I'll click on setup number. Once I'm here, I'm gonna scroll down to where it says a message comes in and I wanna change webhook to function. And then from the drop down list where it says select a function, pick my SMS forwarder and hit save. Once this saves, we'll be ready to test it. And for that, we're going to use the API Explorer. Copy the phone number from the top of the phone number page here and head over to the runtime section of the console. Once you're here, scroll down and head to the API Explorer and we're gonna use the programmable SMS API Explorer. Click on messages and then the first section here, post where it says create a message. We're gonna use this to send a text message to our Twilio phone number from one of our other Twilio phone numbers. So paste in the phone number and then from the drop down, find another number. I'm gonna use this coffee bot from a previous video where we set up a barista bot. And inside of here, I'm gonna say hi from the coffee bot number. So we're gonna send a text message from our coffee bot over to my cell phone through the Twilio phone number that we just bought. Pretty cool, huh? Hit make request and the text message will be sent and you'll see it appear on my phone. Okay, great, but now what do we do when we wanna send a message from our phone back to the user through our Twilio number? Well, we're gonna use a special format for the text message. We're gonna send a text message that has their phone number, colon, and then the response text, and Twilio will know to route that back to their phone number. To do this, we'll update the function that we've been working on, so let's head back to the code. The first thing we'll do is we'll check to see if the incoming text message is sent from our phone number. So again, we'll grab that from context.myPhoneNumber. If it is not sent from our phone number, then we'll do what we did before. So down in the else block for this if, we'll just put the existing code. Now inside of the if block, we know we're dealing with a text message that we've sent. So we wanna look for that colon that we put in the format. So we're gonna declare a separator position and look for it in the body to see if it exists using index of. If the separator position is less than one, it means that there is not a colon in this text message, so we need to send an error response. And we'll say, you need to specify a recipient number and a colon before the message. Otherwise, down in our else block, we're dealing with a properly formatted number, meaning we have a recipient number and a message body separated by a colon. So let's parse out the recipient number first, and that's gonna be available in event.body.substring starting at zero, running up to the separator position, and then we want to trim off any white space at the beginning or end of that. 
Next, we'll parse out the message body, and that'll be available at event.body.substring, starting at the character right after the separator position. So separator position plus one, and then again, we'll trim off any white space at the beginning or end of that using trim. Now we can do just what we did before with twiml.message, where the first parameter is the recipient number, so to recipient number, and the second parameter will be the message body. Our function is complete and ready to go, so head down and hit that save button and wait for your function to deploy. And once it's deployed, I can take my phone back out and we can give this a test. So I'll send a message back to the coffee bot, and since we've got it rigged up to do so, I'm going to ask the coffee bot for a latte. That should get forwarded through my Twilio number over to the coffee bot's number, and it will order me a latte. Excellent. Good to see everything's working. Uh, and then one more thing, we need to test out that case where we had a malformed message, just to see if we get the error message. So we'll send that over to our Twilio number, and we do get the error message. Everything seems to be working. That's going to do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please consider clicking the subscribe button over on the left. If you want to watch another video, I picked one out just for you in the top right. And if you're looking for the code, there's a button in the bottom right for that. Until next time, I'm out of here.